Question number three. Should I study low level design or high level design first? Let's see what artificial intelligence has to share with us. Yeah, I really like this answer because it showcases one of the flaws that maybe computers have. There is no real way to start low level or high level design. Like what should you do first is in my opinion, the wrong question. I'll take an example. If you're thinking about how does a computer work, you kind of need to know everything. You can't just say that I'll start with how a compiler works and then I'll get to know how those instructions are done in a computer. Okay. That's the reason why in the same semester you have both the subjects. So without low level design and high level design going in together in tandem, you're not going to learn things at the rate that you should. And so one good place to start would be the video that I made on free code camp, but it's a really good place to start with system design. Another thing, which is self promotion for me is going to interview ready. And we have all of the system design concepts, the basics. If you go through that, you'll get a good understanding of how systems work and there's nothing, you know, broken into high level and low level over there. It's just, this is the basic of system design. Now, how would I read this answer? This answer is just wrong. So I would give it a one or a zero. Um, it makes some valid points on what low level design is and on what high level design is. But the crux of the question was, is there an ordering to it? There's an implicit assumption that there is an ordering between high level and low level design and the question fell for it. So it's bad advice and you probably shouldn't think of things this way. A one out of a five chat GPT. I'm so sorry for this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.